Hello, everyone. Welcome to Harry B. Creative Minds Tech Channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can set up a scheduled uh, refresh in Power BI. So, yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into Power BI. This is my instance of Power BI. I'll go to File. I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go to my test file, which is called Places. And here you can see my sample file, um, which is has a number of places and it has a sum of scores. And if I want to refresh this data every day, um, what I would need to do is I would need to publish this file to the Power BI app. And uh, what you do is you take the file and you click, go to the right, click on publish. And then it goes, if you set things up and you attach, you've linked through to your workspace, um, then go to my workspace, I'm going to select it. And it's publishing. You can see publishing places.pbx to Power BI, and it's publishing it to the app. Now you can see it's been successful because it's got the tick and it says success. Then if you want to see the file, you just go to open uh, and then it says places.comparebx and you know, that should take you straight to the app and you can see the address. Yep, it's, it's logging me straight in. I've already logged in into my um, uh, app So previously. So you need to ha make sure you log into your um, app workspace or have it set up. Um, it also has the latest date as well. It's got places and you can see uh, my places and the scores. Now, if you want to refresh this data or keep it refreshed or scheduled refreshed um, every single day, um, what you need to do is go to workplaces. Go to my workplaces. I've got several files here, but the file that I'm interested in is um, places. And if I put my mouse over places, um, then you you can see this is the graph you really don't want to put you do that you want to put it over the data set and you what you want to do is you want to refresh the data set and you can see this circle which says refresh now and then next to it it's got scheduled refresh that's the one you want you click on that and as long as you your connections are fine um because usually you'll see an error if your credentials are not fine i like mine data sources fine you can see i've logged into the web um and then if you go to scheduled refresh and then you turn it on from off to on and then you can see refresh frequency it's got the uh, daily here it's set to time zone to in eastern 5 a utc 5 a.m time you can change it to whatever time you want um, so yeah, there's a long list of options here. I'm just going to choose path time. Um, I'm the data set owner. Um, you can also put in these contacts. So if the date, if the refresh fails, you could put your email address. If you tick this box here, I'm going to you put your email address there and it'll give you a notification that it's failed. I'll just unclick that. Uh, so that's how I discard that. And then um, what else? So you go back to refresh. Um, if you click on on and you you can say daily or you can say weekly if you want. Um, you can put another time in here as well. You can put what or, or you can put another time as well. And you can put another time, whatever times you want this data to refresh. And then you just click apply. So yeah, in a nutshell, that is how you reschedule your re your data in Power BI to refresh on a daily basis or weekly basis. It's fairly straightforward. Um, and just remember to click on apply, and it's good practice to just have uh, an email address in case the data uh, refresh and fails, and then you can check up on your Power BI instance and work out why it's not why it's not worked. 
Oh, so thank you very much for listening. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, video. Um, please put your comments. Please like the videos and let me know if uh, you want to uh, have something similar or make allow, make ask if I want to make something similar in the future. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Bye.